In this tutorial, we are going to talk about managing different carriers in the Porta Billing system. In Porta Switch terminology, they're called vendors. Vendors provide services and, of course, want to be paid for them. Vendors connect our customers with the real world networks. These could be either mobile or fixed networks. Our customer may want to dial a Brazilian mobile number, for example, and our job is to deliver that call to the real phone network. Operators can also sell us their DID numbers, real phone numbers, reachable from fixed or mobile network, and we in turn can resell these numbers to our customers. This is interesting for small startups, for example. Imagine a small startup in Ukraine that is doing business mainly with the US customers, and it's in their best interest to purchase a US income and phone number that will allow the business partners to communicate easily. If there is more than just a single vendor offering a call termination to a destination, then of course we are faced with the problem of a choice. Just a quick note here, call termination, or it is also called voice termination, is a process of routing the call from one provider to another or from one carrier to another until the call reaches its final endpoint, the end user. In this tutorial, we are going to look at different vendor parameters that allow us to ensure that the best quality and the cheapest price are selected by our Porta Switch system. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the vendor entity in the Porta Billing system. We will look at connections very closely. And besides, we are going to discover how the routing works and the least cost routing in particular. We will discuss route categories and preference and learn the concept of routing plans. We are going to learn how to create a new vendor on the Cloud Billing Web UI and how to create and configure a new connection for this vendor. We are going to learn how to convert the outgoing numbers to the format recognized by a specific vendor because the formats used by vendors and the Porta Billing system may differ. We are going to see how to simulate call routing on our web interface without incurring into any costs. And we are also going to acquire the skills necessary to adjust routing for a specific group of customers. But before we learn about Porta Switch configuration, let's take a short trip back in time. Before VoIP hit the market, SS7 was the main protocol used for communication. SS7, or Signal System 7, is a quick and intricate protocol. You can judge it for yourself just by looking at the picture in front of you. The equipment that supported this protocol was, in its turn, quite expensive and complex. Operators charge their customers top dollar to be able to make profit. Since the VoIP era, many things have changed. SS7 protocol is still used by many large operators, but now when a customer in, in the UK wants to call their support engineer in Ukraine, for example, there are multiple options to terminate the call. As we can see on this slide, besides the classic SS7, there are many other options to terminate the call from the UK to Ukraine. Okay. There are transit operators that bought uh, cheap connections and are able to resell them at competitive prices. And there are also gray routes established by enthusiasts who bought a piece of hardware usable with multiple SIM cards. And when a call is established, it looks like uh, it is a real call between two people. Uh, however, the most important thing here is that from where British operator Xtel stands, there are multiple ways to terminate the call to Ukrainian number. Of course, now that we have multiple possibilities, the question of carrier management arises. How should we configure our system to get the desired results? 
and port a switch the administrator has to register all the existing vendors in the system and configure their parameters. After the call is processed by port a SIP, it sends um, an authorization request to port a billing in the first place. Once uh, or if the call is authorized by port a billing, port a SIP requests routing information. It needs to know where this call can be sent. Porta Billing calculates this routing information in real time after it receives the request. Porta Billing provides possible vendor configuration for the destination in question, and the vendor list is sorted according to a number of parameters. These can be price, quality, etc. Once the vendor list is ready, it is sent to Porta SIP, and then Porta SIP goes through this list one by one in the order the vendors appear in the list. If the first vendor's network is for some reason unavailable or overloaded, Portisip will try to connect to the next vendor on the list and so on and so forth until either a connection is successfully established or no more routes are available.